Today, we'll address the top things to declutter in the kitchen. But if your home is cluttered, it is probably already affecting your health, your finances, and your relationships. If you are ready to jump right in and get started decluttering, check out my plan at the link below. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I blog and make videos about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. You can find more free printables to help you get organized in the drop-down menu under the printables category over at dmiddleton.com. This video is sponsored by Fitville, a brand specializing in shoes with wide-toe boxes for people to work and exercise more comfortably. Check out the link in this video description for a $20 discount. We have been covering 20 things to declutter from each room in this video series, so if you missed the other videos, I would encourage you to go back and watch those. Today, we will look at my list of 20 of the top things to declutter in the kitchen. Stay tuned to the very end of this video for more organizing help. Why declutter in the first place? Did you know that clutter has psychological effects on your brain, health, and behavior? Clutter distracts us. Multitasking is not helpful. Research conducted at Princeton University and MIT concluded that the amount of time and efficiency lost for each additional task increases exponentially. The study showed how multitasking actually causes more harm than good. While one additional task resulted in a 20% loss of time, five tasks resulted in a whopping 75% loss. Another study by Princeton University found that clutter competes for your brain's resources, preventing focus and limiting processing power. In short, clutter is distracting. One of the major psychological effects of clutter is that it can be mentally debilitating for children and adults with ADD and ADHD. A study published in the Journal of Applied Developmental Psychology shows the effects of a chaotic environment on children. Much of our energy is derived from our environment. Very few things can alter our mood and emotions as immediately as our environment. Simply stepping into a room can soothe a person into calmness or move them into uneasiness. Beyond the aesthetics of the space, being overwhelmed by disorganization and clutter can lead to apathy and avoidance. The effect is inaction via procrastination. Our environments inform our habits and behaviors. That's why aligning your environment with your goals and intentions is commonly recommended. Cognitive Behavior Therapy Model, CBT, a common current foundation for therapy practices and life improvement, indicates that our thoughts impact our emotions, which then impact our behaviors, which then impact our thoughts, and the cycle continues. This cycle can keep people stuck in ruts. One little piece not indicated in the primary CBT model is the results of those actions. Our behaviors, or actions, directly result in our environments, or results. For example, you're at the store and something catches your attention, you feel a certain way about it, you take an action based on that emotion. You either choose to buy the item or not buy the item and your environment is impacted. Or you consider donating a gift from a family member, but you feel guilty, so you hold on to it in the back of your closet. A series of these same processes have now led to a cluttered closet. But it doesn't stop there. Your environment then influences your thoughts, which then influence your emotions, and the cycle continues. Some belongings may directly cause stress, anger, and sadness due to the nature of the item. Holding on to these things can perpetuate depression or anxiety. In this way, the psychological effects of clutter aren't only related to the fact that there is clutter, but to the types of clutter present. Many clear out belongings after a divorce or breakup in order to simultaneously clear their minds for a fresh start. I've heard from widows who struggled to heal from their loss due to being surrounded by a spouse's belongings. Now that you understand the negative impact of keeping clutter around, let's look at my list of 20 of the top things to declutter in the kitchen. Kitchen declutter checklist. Old and expired foods in your fridge and freezer. Old and expired foods in the pantry and items on top of fridge. Old and expired dry foods not in pantry. Declutter unwanted fine china, silver crystal. Get rid of unwanted serving dishes. Declutter your storage containers and lids. Declutter your unwanted and expired spices. Get rid of small appliances you never use. Declutter your pots, skillets, and lids. Get rid of any seasonal dishes you never use. Declutter your disposable cups, plates, and bowls. Get rid of unwanted silverware and knives. Declutter your cooking utensils. Get rid of expired medicines and first aid. Declutter any paperwork on fridge and your magnets. Declutter unused cleaning supplies. 
Get rid of useless stuff in junk drawers. Declutter useless cords and electronics. Get rid of unused cookbooks and daily dishes and cups. Get rid of used and unwanted calendars and papers. So there, you have my list of 20 of the top things to declutter in the kitchen. Did I forget anything? Let me know in the comments below. If you need to do more deep cleaning, I have checklists and guides to help you with that over at dmiddleton.com or at the link below. I have a housekeeping ebook entitled Make Over Your Homemaking. If housekeeping is an area that you struggle with, this ebook will guide you in creating your own housekeeping schedule. I try to cover everything from balancing your bank balance to cleaning your kitchen. I will link that information for you in this video description. If you are looking to get more organized, I can help with that too. I blog and make videos about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. If you find it a struggle to get organized, there is likely a good reason why. As a matter of fact, I explore 11 reasons you fail to get organized over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. If one of these 11 reasons sound familiar to you, I will give you some tips to overcome that obstacle and finally get organized. I will link this information below. You can find my free printables to help you get organized in the drop-down menu under the printables category over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. If you are drowning in clutter, let me help inspire you. Clutter doesn't have to ruin your space. We are going to banish it. I do a year-long thorough declutter series on the blog. In this series, we declutter 30 minutes a day, five days a week. If that is something you need to do, join me at the link in this video description. You will receive a daily task and a weekly email. By the time you complete this series, you will have decluttered every room and space in your home. I have declutter lists for each room over at dmiddleton.com. I want to inspire you to create a home for everything and make your housework more manageable and less time-consuming. Once the clutter is gone, you will spend far less time cleaning it. So don't keep things around that take up your valuable space and time. Declutter it. Check out the links below to get started. Thanks for watching. 